finalists in the sustainability category are Western States Reclamation for Chatfield Storage Reallocation Project. The project consisted of the reallocation of 20,600 acre feet of flood storage space in Chatfield Reservoir by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for municipal, agricultural, and other beneficial uses. Western States created an extensive stream and wetland habitat restoration and revegetation plan consisting of beaver dam construction, planting over 150,000 deciduous and evergreen trees, shrubs, wetland plugs, willow stakes, and cottonwood poles. Other project elements involve the use of several design seed mixes with appropriate soil amendments and hydraulic mulches on approximately 350 acres of wetland and upland environments. Additionally, Western States installed over 100,000 square yards of core matting, erosion control blanket, and harvested and assembled 8,600 linear feet of willow logs for stream bank stabilization. The project serves as a vital infrastructure and water quality improvement project, while also restoring a degraded habitat environment that has already seen an influx of wildlife and will be enjoyed by many generations to come. The next finalist is Rocky Mountain Trees and Landscaping for Cement Creek Google Culture. The client goals for this project were to create a screen blocking this Crested Butte home from the road, irrigating the property with available water, and sustainably recycling the debris from the excavation site. The county road along the property is heavily used in the summer by recreational vehicles that create a lot of noise and dust from the dirt road. Rocky Mountain Trees and Landscaping's solution was to build a hugelkultur berm separating his property from the road. Hugelkultur is a form of composting that utilizes decaying wood debris for its carbon source and creates a berm that helps with water retention, increased soil fertility, and soil warming. The porous structure of the wood acts like a sponge storing water when it is available and releasing it in drought. To construct the berm, materials were sourced locally. The client owns a coffee shop and wanted a way to reuse leftover materials from his shop. Coffee grounds and parchment were scattered along the berm, and the burlap sacks from coffee beans were filled with finished compost and planted with seedlings. The homeowner ordered native plants from the Forest Service. Cuttings of willows, catoni asters, raspberries, and monarda from the property and mushroom kits were added to the berms. In addition, shrubs and perennials that were destined for the compost pile at RMTL were planted to add biomass. As fall began, the leaves fell onto the berm and leaf bags were collected off sidewalks in town to add another layer to decompose on the berm. This is a great example of one of the 12 design principles of permaculture use and value renewable resources and services. Overall, the project will take several years to reach full maturity. Our MTL will work with the client in the next season to help to promote the decomposition of the berm and monitor the balance of water. The third finalist is Designscapes Colorado for Nature Kids Discovery Zone at Alicia Sanchez International School. The Nature Kids Discovery Zone at Alicia Sanchez International School in Lafayette is part of a national model to connect youth with the outdoors. The public bond bid project awarded to Designscapes Colorado is funded by a Great Outdoors Colorado Inspire grant. Designscapes worked with industry partners to make this Nature Play project sustainable and educational. The project was ultimately a great success due in large to the partnership established between the client, designer, and designscapes as the contractor. The careful organization of the park's natural features begin with two picnic shelters constructed from native beetle kill pine logs. As you continue down the park's crusher fine path, two 10-foot hickory tree logs, a cluster of tree stumps, and a play creek that mimics a wetland ecosystem inhabit the space. Other sustainable elements of construction include stone sourced entirely within Colorado, 
plants selected from local nurseries, and street tree logs culled from downtown Lafayette. Designscape sourced hard to come by wetland plugs, or typically available out of state, from a front range nursery. The steel bridge at the end of the park was recycled from another in-house job site. They also devised a solution to activate the water feature using solar power. The sustainable design approach to this new two-acre multi-sensory nature play balances adventure and learning without compromising safety and durability.